Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hi everybody, uh, Pastor Everett uh, coming to you tonight. I just wanted to talk to you for a few moments. Uh, I, I think about a really a, a great uh, scripture verse. I think most of us would know this verse. Uh, it's found in Hebrews uh, chapter 13 verse 8. And it says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today and forever. Uh, let me just pray with us. Lord, I just pray that you just touch our heart, our mind, our eyes, our ears, God, that we would see, see, hear, know, and understand something new from the Word of God today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I, I want to talk to you just for a moment about the, uh, the word yesterday. Because, uh, and let me just preface this, this little talk with this, this little statement. It says, my my past is not my prison. My past is not my prison. Often, uh, I think everybody, if you live long enough, you're going to have a past. I mean, um, uh, even if you're young, uh, you, you, you may, and you, you're old enough to remember yesterday or last year or last summer, uh, you have a past. And some things that happened in our past, we're happy about. Some things we're really not happy about. So there's some things we could have done differently. There's other things that we couldn't, you know, we had no control over at all. And, uh, but the, the fact is, is all of us have a yesterday. All of us have uh, uh, something back there, all right? And often, I'm going to tell you, this happens a lot, uh, uh, especially the older we get, uh, uh, because years sneak up on you. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, even my, uh, this year, I don't even know where this year went, uh, uh, where the time has gone. I don't, I, I, I know even this last year I had good days and I had bad days. I had days I liked it and days I didn't like it. And, uh, but, but often if we, if we spend our time looking back on something, on an event, a trial, a problem, uh, uh, something that went on yesterday, right? Uh, we, we, t we take our focus, by putting our focus on what was back there, we take our focus off of this moment now, which by not focusing on the now, we, we also lose our hope uh, or our way for tomorrow. And uh, because life is really uh, lived in the now. And uh, that's, a, that's a very simple thing to say. It's very difficult, especially if you've been hurt or have experienced a trial or a problem in your past, things you don't, don't appreciate. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it, often though, in the moment, like when we just talk about our past or yesterday, it's really a choice, it's a decision that you have to make, each of us, I have to make it too. We have to make a decision to move forward. Uh, and that's never, never easy, especially if you're trying to get through some difficult situation, a trial or a circumstance. It's, it's, but it, is, it always begins with a choice, okay? I make a choice to move forward. I make a choice today. That, that means that in spite of how I feel, <laughs> especially not because of the way I feel, right? I can't let what I feel dictate what I do outside, all right? What I do uh, today, what I do in this moment, because I may not feel like moving forward, but really that's what life is. It's a choice to move forward, a a amen? Uh, uh, you know, I, just by saying that, what I said right there, I, I really am bordering on the, on the concept of forgiveness. Uh, because, uh, because it's true, we must forgive ourselves. we must forgive a person, we must forgive uh, uh, even our concept of what we, what we, how we feel about God at the moment, uh, especially if we're blaming Him for something or someone else or ourself. Uh, when we start to blame, uh, we, we, got to, we got to cross the bridge of forgiveness. And I, I'm reminded of a verse in uh, Matthew 5, verse 23 and 24, it says, Therefore, if, if you bring your gift to the altar and remember that your brother has ought against you, leave your gift there at the altar and go your way and be reconciled to your brother. <laughs> I think one of the, one of, I, I, I just love that thought uh, because it says, if they have ought against you. And uh, I, 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 if you internalize that thought just for a second, you would, you would uh, maybe have a conversation with yourself especially if you struggle in the area of forgiving yourself. I, I, I wasn't very smart. I did this thing or I was, I should have been 
uh, more knowledgeable. I should have uh, paid more attention. I should have did this or I should have did that. And so even if you just internalize that thought for a moment and say to yourself, I'm going to forgive me. I'm going to forgive myself. Maybe look in the mirror and say it. I'm going to forgive you and I'm going to move forward. Okay. And I'm going to move forward with a hope for a better tomorrow. Amen. And uh, so easy for the, I don't know if you've ever uh, understood this a little bit or thought about it, but the, the, the offender uh, has, has an easier time with this than the offended one, right? So, so even if you're offended with yourself, you find yourself struggling with forgiveness, struggling to move forward. But the offender has an easier time than the offended one. Uh, I, 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 I think, uh, but the only way really, okay, let's just leave that sit there for a second. But the only real way to experience forgiveness in our life really is to root out the offense, right? To root that out of us and take out the root. And it, it's painful sometimes to even consider that, but we must forgive the offense so that we can move forward or we'll always be offended, okay? And, uh, and then you base every decision from then from going forward on the offense, on the, on the, 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 the feeling, right? The, the disappointment, the, the, the lack of something, okay? And so my decisions going forward uh, will always be, be tainted or, 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 or marred by the offense, okay? But we must root out, pull out, so that we can then heal. Amen? Uh, so so uh, Jesus, Jesus walked through that same door. Cause, and, and I always marveled when Jesus was laying, he was dying on the cross. He had his, uh, almost his, his, one of his last thing he said before he said it's finished. He said, Father, forgive them for they, they don't know what they're doing. And, and it, it, the, the doorway is the same for us. We must forgive so that we can move forward, right? Move forward. Jesus, the same yesterday. See, that's, that's the thought. Jesus was the same yesterday. Like when, when, when I was struggling with this problem in my life, Jesus was the same, right? That he's still the same now and he's going to be the same forever so my 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 escape <laughs> my hope my future is still found in jesus right i still need jesus amen he's the same he, he hasn't changed uh uh <laughs> so 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 we we can see that whenever we look at jesus we don't need to be afraid or to be fearful because he is the same right he's the rock He's the, the anchor point in our life. He's the, 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 the love of God manifest in the flesh for all of the world. He, he, he's the rock. He's a, so I don't need to be afraid, right? I don't need to be afraid. I, there's a verse in Malachi uh, 3.6. Actually, we, we quote uh, Malachi uh, 3.10 all the time when we start to talk about tithing or giving and how we rob God. But, but I like this verse uh, 3, verse 6. It says, for I am the Lord. He, he just, and he puts a comma there because he is the Lord. He's the, the Lord of all. He's the Lord of my life. He's the Lord of my circumstance. He's the Lord of my everything, right? I, I, I set him above my feelings. I set him above my circumstance. I set him a, 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 above what I feel I'm missing in my life. I set him up above that. I set him up as Lord, right? That means I, I serve him. I, I walk with him, right? I know that he is with me. He, he's still here today. He says, for I am the Lord. And then it says something really powerful. I change not, it says. I am the Lord. I change not. <laughs> isn't that powerful? What a, what a great promise we have. God isn't going to change, right? He's not going to change ever, right? And he's still extending his arms right now of love for you and I. He still extends today, right? And it, uh, uh, it, says, it says, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are, Jacob are not consumed. And he's speaking about the children of Israel, how they're not consumed. And, it's in the, and that, that, that moves even unto us today, right? We are, we are not consumed because he's the Lord. <laughs> you see, we have to really understand really the, the, the concept of love because love 
extends itself over and over to, to even us that don't want, really want to receive it. All, those of us that are holding back, right? Those of us that are holding back because we're hurt. Hmm. So, so these are words that we can live by. I change not. <laughs> that I is for me and it's for you. Amen? Uh, amen? <laughs> Think about that. Uh, and let me move on to 2 and 4. I, I like this verse because uh, the, it says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday. And then it, it, it doesn't put today together. It says, to day. And then it says, for ever. They're, they're not, they're not a, a continued word. They're a separate word. So I want to talk about 2 and 4 for a moment. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I walked into today... I was carrying yesterday with me. When I walked into today, I was carrying yesterday with me, right? I was walking to something, right? And and even when we're talking right now, you're you're walking toward or to something, right? You're 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 moving forward even if you don't really want to move forward, even if you're too focused on what was back there. You you have to understand that you're going to something right and you're going for something so 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 keep moving with me all right for a moment uh Pete, peter said first peter 5 7 uh, we know this verse it says casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you see i i i, I like that word but i i would change care to love because he loves you love means he cares for me right he he he, he he's given everything up he gave his life. Jesus gave his life for you and for me. Amen. He gave up everything. Everything that we, we hold so dear, to, everything that we're holding on to so tightly, he gave all that up for us. And we can trust him. I, I like the word, it says, casting all your care. That means throwing it down. Hmm. I do that when I pray sometimes. I, uh, I have a situation or a circumstance going on in my life. And I, I, I literally will hold it in my hand like this and then I, I, I throw it up. I give it up to God. I don't like barf it up. I just actually physically do that. I throw up the, the thing or the care to him. And, then, and, then, and I pray a prayer like, God, I'm just giving this to you. Here, take it, God. And sometimes uh, I can feel a release of that immediately. Other times I have to pray that prayer many times. And I just keep saying, God, I gave this to you. I gave this to you. Help me with my feeling. Help me with my circumstance. Help me with my forgiveness. Help me with whatever it is I need help with. But I can cast my care on him because I know that I know that I know that, that God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. He said it. He'll bring it to pass. And I know that, that the dreams and hopes and desires that he has placed in me, the gift and calling that I have in my life is going to be fulfilled. I don't need to worry about how it's all going to happen or why, why, why did I have to take this path or how come I feel this way or how come this had to happen or that had to happen. I just need to trust that God will make it all come to pass according to His Word and His time. Amen? Uh, where I'm, I'm making a choice right now in this moment. What I'm walking to and what I'm walking for is found in Jesus Christ. I can trust Jesus Christ this morning. I, want, I wonder if we were together, I would probably say that to you. Just say it with me. I trust you, Jesus. I trust you. And, and then maybe we would pray that prayer like, oh, help me, help me with my unbelief, you know, because I trust you, but I really don't believe. I trust you, but I really don't believe. And I, I think that exercise of, of, of even, even voicing out what is inside of you, because we all, we all have this inner com conversation going on, the enemy in us, right, that, that, that says things, that really is, are, they're, they're not true at all. But we, we tend to believe that voice because it speaks loud to all of us. Amen? Uh, often we're caught up in the feelings of the moment, right? We get caught up in the feelings of the moment and, and we forget that we're going to, we're going for a destiny, right? There's a, there's a place where we're going. There's a, a position that God has for me. And, and if I allow this moment to, to, to cloud my vision, I'll make a decision that's not based on my destiny or where I'm going to. It's based on my, my yesterday or, or what I did do or what the expectations of someone else was back then, 
right? Today, this moment, right now, this very moment is the doorstep of change, right? This moment will change everything. <laughs> this is the moment that will change everything. Now, I wonder if you could say that with me too. This is the moment that will change everything. It, everything will change right now in this moment. Amen? But I, uh, the very nature of change makes us uncomfortable. Matter of fact, sometimes when we think about change, uh, we, we get sweaty palms. We get, we get these butterflies on our stomach. And, and, and we just, we just, we go, the risk in our mind doesn't justify the reward. <laughs> but the reward, right, is what we're going for, right? And that, that may be in heaven. We may get our reward in heaven. But I'm going to tell you right now in this moment, uh, changing my mind and my life is, is a great reward. I mean, Jesus is like applauding, waiting for us to accept what he's already given us. Uh, great struggle there because we, even now we, we celebrate, we're, we're getting ready to celebrate the greatest gift of all and the gift that has been given to all of mankind, and yet so few of us have actually received it. I think that's the, one of the greatest struggle, struggles of all, all humans, all mankind, is to receive the gift. Just our struggle is receiving. Hey, that's a good sermon right there for somebody, for somebody, maybe for another day. Hebrews 13 and 7 uh, uh, reminds us. It's the verse just above uh, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. The, the verse just above that. It reminds us that, that to remember. It, it says, remember those who have the rule over you. And I'm going to say right now, uh, it's, that's not an excuse for a husband or a pastor or a teacher or a preacher or a, uh, anybody. It's, it's, it's a reminder for us to remember that Jesus is the ultimate authority. The Word of God is the ultimate authority in our life. We must come to a place where we let the Word of God have the rule in our life. <laughs> I say this a lot, and I think it's very true. Not until we're willing to challenge the truth that we think we know inside of us against the truth that we'll find in the Word of God will true change, will, will true lasting change ever come into our life. Because we must understand that that, that, that truth, that thing that we believe the, the most, is the very thing that is fighting against you. It's fighting against the change. It's fighting against your destiny. It's, kind of, it's fighting against what you are for, Right? Your legacy, the legacy. Amen. See, Jesus, Jesus came. He came. He came to heal the brokenhearted. Did, I, I, I want to say this. Hurt people will continue to hurt people. Jesus came to make you whole. <laughs> and sometimes, Jesus being the great physician, we don't like to go to the doctor. We really don't. We don't want to be whole. We just want everything to continue on so that we can continue on, so that, so that we can make it to another day. I'll go to sleep tonight, I'll wake up tomorrow, and everything will be the same. <laughs> it won't get better unless we go to the doctor, right? I, I, Jesus came. Uh, we, we read this in, in uh, uh, Luke 4, verse 18 and 19. He says, He came to uh, preach the gospel to the poor, and, and I don't think that necessarily means just monetarily poor. I think it means those of us that need knowledge. We, we got to come to a place where we, uh, we recognize that we need the Word. We need Jesus. Jesus is the Word made flesh. We need that Word. I'm poor. I don't understand. I lack wisdom. So we, we draw from the Word the things that He has for us. And then it says, and then it goes on to say to, to heal the brokenhearted. So, so, so Jesus, the purpose of Christ is to heal our heart. It's to take our heart that is broken, or maybe it's been broken, and He wants to heal. He wants healing to happen in our life, right? Uh, and then He says uh, to, to, to set the captives free, to, to, to set us free. The things that are holding us back, the things that are keeping us captive. Maybe it's just possible. That the thing, the very thing that is holding you back today is not the thing that's holding you back. It's you. It's me. It, maybe Jesus came to set us free, to open the prison doors and say, hey, you can walk out anytime. Come on. And then it says, to, to, to open to a recovering of sight to the blind. <laughs> I, I love this verse, and I, I talked about it last Sunday. It says, 
it says, I have not seen, ear hath not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has in store for those that love him. So, so what we see with our eye right now probably isn't what God wants us to be looking at at all. What we hear with our ear is probably not what God wants us to hear. <laughs> what we perceive with our little brain, right? It probably isn't what God wants us to be thinking about at all. And I, I, I said this statement on Sunday too, but it's so true that God must be the most un misunderstood person in all of the world, right? Because we don't understand anything he's doing, right? We don't understand what, what he's trying to show us. We can't hear what he's trying to say to us. And we can't even understand in our mind what he's doing. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let me just pray with us. Lord, I just pray that you would open our heart. Lord, open our, our minds. Open our ears, truly. Lord, that we can see you. That we can see that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Lord, we just love you. We ask that you forgive us of our sins and help us to forgive others. Lord, help us to walk forward, Lord, in, in this moment right now and do and be who you want us to be in this world. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let me, let me just uh, uh, ask you a favor. If you could go to mybreakthrough.online, go to the website, that's our homepage there. Go there and go down to the bottom and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can like us on Facebook. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of great things going on. Uh, if, if you would consider partnering with us as a ministry, you can text to give right there. Uh, we, we are really excited about what God is doing. There's, there's a prayer wall. There's lots of stuff on the website. I encourage you to, to browse around and look. Uh, you, can, you can check out almost every one of our messages is up online. Uh, and we're just really excited about what God is doing. And we look forward to really connecting with you. Uh, and then, uh, uh, I, as, as we just wrap up, I, I just want to say this one more thing here. It says, uh, I, I just want to say this. We are creatures of the Creator. He created you and He created me for a purpose. And He didn't make a mistake with that purpose in my, in, in, in my life or in your life. Okay? And, and, I, and I, I just want to say this, this statement. It's, it's not important at all what someone has spoken to you or to me. That's just their opinion. It's not what, what we are speaking, because often we're speaking from our feelings. It's not about that. It's not uh, what the little voice inside your head is saying. It's just the, my imagined image of who I should be. That's what's speaking to you. But it's what he says. That's what I'll live by. By the Word of God. I will live by the Word of God. I, I wonder if you could say that with me. I will live by the Word of God. He is my life. Periods. <laughs> There's a period right there. He is my life. My life is in Jesus Christ. Amen? Love you and I appreciate you uh, watching and we look forward to seeing you real soon. Have a great night.